Hello dear viewer and welcome to a new Factorio beginner series. Let's not waste any time and start with the most important tip of them all, which is pressing the ALT key. When you press ALT, you toggle the ALT mode. It will show you more information. For example, you can see that there's ammo and iron in the crashed spaceship. You can also toggle ALT mode by pressing this button in the bottom UI. I always play with ALT mode enabled and you should too. Don't be one of those beginners asking for help on Reddit and posting a screenshot without ALT mode enabled. It allows you and others to see what your assemblers are producing. Okay, next, after crash landing, you should definitely search for big rocks. Rocks give you stone so that you don't have to mine it. But even more important, large rocks also give you coal, which means you can start smelting right away. Get some wood to make power poles later on. To efficiently use burner miners, place the furnace directly in front of it. Learn to use the drop item key, which by default should be Z. This way you can easily distribute coal to the burner miners and furnaces. You will run out of coal at some point, so use this trick. Build two burner miners facing each other. They will now insert the mined coal into the adjacent burner miner and therefore continuously farm coal. For the production of copper, directly insert into furnaces as well. Two miners for copper and four for iron should be sufficient for now. Craft a lab and power poles because the next milestone is to get electricity and set up research. This part is pretty straightforward and just like in the tutorial. Build an offshore pump, boiler and a steam engine. Connect the water input of the boiler with pipes. In this case I don't have to because the buildings are adjacent to each other. Set up power poles and put coal into the boiler. The first 10 red science packs have to be handcrafted in order to unlock the assembly machine. Oops, I forgot to insert coal into the boiler. Here we go. Time to semi-automate the red science production. To get all technologies that only require the red science pack, you only need 525 packs. Which is why I wouldn't bother setting up a fully automated subfactory. Don't mess around with belts and splitters, which have to be unlocked first. To get the job done, we just use direct insertion. Two assemblers, one producing gears, directly inserting into another assembler, producing the red science pack. And then we directly insert into three labs. Oops, and we triggered the first biter attack. But in a default world, this should be easy to defend with a pistol. Open the minimap and enable the pollution overlay and make sure that there are no biter nests near your pollution cloud. If so, you have to remove the biter nest. I will show you in a minute how it works. Research whatever you need. In my case, it makes sense to research the gun turret first because there was already an attack. And as soon as you have electric miners, get rid of the burner miners. Electric miners are so much better and more pollution efficient. This will increase the coal consumption in your boiler though. Do it for iron and copper. And as soon as you have them, use gun turrets to defend your base. One or two gun turrets should be fine in default. The only thing I want to transport and automate in this episode is the transportation of coal to the boilers because it's really annoying to constantly pay attention and put coal into the boilers manually. Okay, done. To fight biters, getting physical projectile damage level 1 is the best. To increase production, build more electric mining drills for iron and copper. And to produce more science packs, we just built a second row of this direct insertion blueprint. If you have a biter nest close to your pollution cloud, you have to remove it. Let me show you how to do it with the turret creep strategy. Build turrets near a biter nest, but outside of the ROM range. Lure all biters into your turret trap and then place turrets into the nest that can fire at worms and spawners. Use the drop item key again to feed ammo to your turrets. You should have physical projectile damage and speed level 1 and then it should be super easy, barely an inconvenience. At some point increase electricity production, the ratio between boilers and steam engines is 1 to 2. When steel processing research is done, build two furnaces and just put in some iron and coal. If you want more research speed and you have spare resources, just build another row of this blueprint. Three rows equal 18 signs per minute, four rows 24, five rows 30 and so on. Okay, this tip is really important. If you want to grab items from belts, utilize a splitter. Never take items directly from the main belt. This way you will always make sure that at least 50% of the coal will reach the boilers for electricity production. Don't forget to limit the chest size. With just red signs you will unlock heavy armor, which is amazing against spiders. And it makes sense to build at least one or two radars to uncover the area around your base. 
Okay, the logistic science pack is the last research I can get with just red science packs. Our direct insertion science production has done its job. So it's time to deconstruct. It's important to understand that everything you build in Factorio is temporary. Just like in real life, if you buy a new PC, it will be outdated in a couple of years. The same is true for your factory. As we unlock better technologies, our designs become obsolete. So don't waste your time trying to build the perfect starter base. Build a base that can reach the next milestone, in this case, unlocking green science packs. And now with the new technologies like splitters, underground belts, fast inserters, we can start automating smelting blocks and the production of red and green science packs. But this will be part of the next episode. I'm not sure if starting this beginner series is a good idea. If you are a newcomer and this was helpful, please tell me in the comments below. And if you are a veteran, please tell me if you would recommend this to new players. See you in the next one. Thanks, bye.